Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am very excited about this video because I think we have a dupe for my all-time favorite palette. I am so excited about this one. I was kind of anticipating that this palette might get duped and I was so excited to see it arrive in the mail. Thank you to Alter Ego for sending me over their new Daylight palette. We're gonna be testing them out side by side together today. And of course, I'm talking about the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude palette, which I absolutely love. You might know I love many of Natasha to know as eyeshell palettes, but this is my favorite one. It is such a beautiful color story. So of course we're gonna try them out side by side today and see if we can notice a difference in how they apply on the eyes. Hopefully you guys are excited about it. If you are new to my channel, thank you for joining me. Please consider subscribing and make sure that your notifications are turned on. And with that out of the way, let's just get right into it. Okay, so we are gonna do a side-by-side -side look with these palettes today. Sometimes I've done this before where I don't tell you which side is which. I think today I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you which side is which so you can kind of see how similarly they apply as I'm putting them on my eyes. But before I do that, I just wanna insert a close up of this new palette for you guys so you can get a closer look at what it looks like, how the shades inside compare. And then right here is a side-by-side -side swatch of the two palettes together. I have to say, I swatched these right before filming this video and once I had all the shades figured out because they are in a different order in the Daylight palette, Holy smokes, I was so impressed with how similar these are. That often happens to me with these Alter Ego palettes. Sometimes looking at them on first glance, it takes me a minute to figure out which shade is supposed to be duplicating which, because as you can see, let me just hold these up side by side for you guys. So here we have the Natasha Denona. Here we have the Alter Ego. You'll notice right off the bat that they're not in the same order, and that's just kind of how they do things. I'm assuming that's for patent or like legal reasons. Anyways, once I've had it figured out though, I'm very impressed with how these swatch. So I'm excited to give them a try. I'm actually pretty hopeful. I was very curious to see, and I will be curious to see how, how they apply on the eyes, but I was curious to see how this palette in particular was going to dupe the I Need a Nude because there's so many unique shimmer formulas in here. More variety and types of shimmers in this than I have ever seen from Natasha before. So I'm excited to see how those play out on the eyes. In the swatches, they actually looked quite similar. I mean, they don't feel exactly the same to the touch, but again, once I swatched them on my arm, I was surprised at how similar they looked. I'm gonna do the Natasha Denona on my right side and the Alter Ego on the left. To go along with that, I'm going to be using my Alter Ego brushes as well. I'm gonna use the same brushes on both sides. I think that's always a good idea just to make sure you're using the same brush because your brushes can make a bit of a difference. I'll just make sure to wipe it off really good. In between, I actually have like a little dry brush sponge that I'll probably use. By the way, these brushes are also from Alter Ego. I talked about them in my most recent video a little bit and they are meant to dupe the Angie Hot and Flashy brushes from BK Beauty. As usual, well, everything I will link down below for you guys. But for now, let me zoom you guys in just a bit and we will get started with the eye look. All right, so for this eye look today, I think I wanna start with something kind of more neutral tones and then we're going to complete that with like liner and mascara and then we'll dip back into the palette and go for some of the more deep and kind of intense tones, do a little bit, kind of like build up on top of what's already there to create more of like a nighttime kind of smoky look. I've got my little list here of the shade matches. By the way, I'm actually going to try and link this down below in the description box for you guys because I found it was very difficult to match these shades together because this palette has a lot of not duplicates but very like crossover similar shades. There's not a ton of variety and a couple shades have like a light, a medium, and a darker version of the same shade that's kind of hard to distinguish. Anyways, let's jump right into the Natasha Denona palette and we're going to start off. I really want to see how these kind of peachy pink colors perform because this was one that I felt like was a little more pink toned in the Natasha Denona, a little more peach toned, possibly in the Daylight palette. So we're gonna start there. This is the shade Wit in Natasha Denona. I'm gonna take my largest blending brush. This is the Alter Ego 205. Okay, and then we're just going to tap that kind of high up in the crease. Two layers of this from Natasha Denona. All right, I'm gonna wipe off that brush and we are jumping over to the Daylight palette and we're going to take Fresh, which is the duplicate shade. Same thing. Another dip. 
Okay, I'm gonna wipe that brush off. We're gonna use the same brush, and I'm gonna go into the shade Vague. It's just a little bit darker, and I'm just putting it on the very tip of my brush, and this one we're going to keep right in the socket. I'm not gonna go quite as wide with this one. And I'm also gonna pull this one down toward the lash line just a bit. And over to the Alter Ego palette. The duplicate is this shade, Embrace. So this one might be just a hair darker in the Alter Ego, I'm noticing. You guys seeing that? Okay, we're gonna go back, actually with that same shade, this is the shade Vague. We're gonna take that on the lower lash line with the smaller blending brush, this is the 201. I'm just gonna run that under the outer half of my lower lash line. Wipe that brush off and back to Alter Ego, we're gonna take the shade Embrace. Just notice the difference in the depth. Very subtly, but I do think it is a little bit darker on this side. Normally I would like build up some depth, depth with the dark, very, very dark brown there. But I think we're gonna initially keep it kind of soft like this and just kind of layer up some shimmers. So let's take just a little bit of filigree. That's this kind of brown shimmer right here. We're gonna put that on just the outer third of the lid. There it is right there. It's kind of like a taupey medium silver. And then the duplicate for that shade, let's see, I've got to look it up, is Brisk right there. Same thing on the other side. By the way, this one I'm obviously just using my finger with. You could certainly use a brush. All right, now let's move into what is probably my most used and favorite shade in here. It's right smack in the middle. This is the shade Muse. Love this shimmer, it is so intense. You know what, for this one, I know I just got done saying that I like to use my fingers, which I do, but I do want to try this shade out with a brush, because I know a lot of people don't like to use their fingers or maybe they have long nails or just don't like to get their dirty fingers in their makeup for whatever reason. So I'm gonna take it on the Alter Ego 202. It's gonna kind of pack it on there. And I'm kind of overlapping what I just put down. This one I'm going from right across the center, kind of from like, I'm leaving just this very innermost corner open. We're gonna put something else there. Let's go over to the Alter Ego. And for that, we're gonna take the shade Mist. It's this one right here. Wiped off my brush. And again, curious. Okay, this is very interesting. So this is something I've noticed before. Sometimes the shimmers in the Alter Ego, the Alter Ego versions of the shimmers can be a little bit more intense and punchy. And I'm noticing that with this one right here. Now, that said, I do still think like the Natasha Denona ones can be a little bit more sheer, but they give you this like very dimensional sparkle that's a little bit more, it's, it's unique. It's just slightly unique, even to something that is so similar as this one right here. But they don't have like that pigment backing to them. They're more of like a, they can be more of like a shimmer topper, a little bit more sheer and sparkly, which I love. Sorry, I just went back and forth. I was just kind of blending. Hopefully I didn't mess that up. I stopped thinking for a minute there. But you definitely see how much like lighter this one is. That said, I also think because this is just so rich, it can emphasize the lines on your lids a little bit more than something more sheer and kind of sparkly like like this one I'm seeing right here. Subtle difference, but the difference is there and it's a difference that I have noticed before. Okay, now let's go to the inner corner. This one I'm also going to use the brush because sometimes applying a shimmer to your inner corner is difficult to do with the finger. We're gonna take this shade. This is the light pink, very sheer kind of blue toned shimmer. It's called Mia. Again, on that same brush, this we're going to put on the inner corner here. Beautiful shade. Oh, it's so pretty. This is another good one for like a special occasion. Just to tap this over the center of the lid to give like a little bit of like sheer sparkle. Especially if you use like a fluffy brush if you want it a little bit more, just some of the sparkle effect without the impact. Back over to the Daylight palette. This is the duplicate, Divine. 
Okay, I'm wiping off my brush. I'm just gonna tap between those two shades, wipe off again, just to make sure they're blended together really well. So again, I feel like this one, I'm getting a little bit more punch, but this one I'm getting the sparkle, but it's a little more kind of sheer. I like them both, honestly. <laughs> like, I think they both have a different quality to them. They're just very slightly different. And again, we're kind of splitting hairs here. They're, they're very similar. Let's add a little bit of a brow bone highlight. That's something I always do, but I know probably most people do this. I'm gonna take this light kind of peachy cream. This is fair. Tap that right under the brow bone. This is probably not gonna do a whole lot on me. And then over to the Daylight Palette, it's shade Airy. What I should have done is put this underneath that shade on the inner corner, but that's okay. Okay, I'm gonna leave things right there and I'm going to add just a little bit, let's see. Let's take this, this is my little, it's my mini liner, it's by the brand, I think it's called Mersey. I got this on YesStyle, I'll link it down below for you guys. It is the coolest little eyeliner. It's ultra ultra tiny so you can get a super tiny line with it it's like a brow pencil for your eyes so we're just gonna do a little baby wing here smudge that out just a bit and a little bit on the waterline as well so there's eyeliner and then we're gonna add a couple of coats of mascara I'm gonna take my panorama mascara let me add a couple of coats of this then i'll be back and we'll add a couple more shades to this to kind of smoke it out and deepen it up a bit okay so here is my more soft kind of daytime look now let's layer up some darker shades see if we can add a little bit more depth to this so we're going to jump over to the i need a nude palette we're going to take this dark brown right here this is the shade silhouette we're going to go back to that small blending brush actually let's take this one this is the 204 it's also small, it's not quite as tiny, tiny small as this one right here, a little bit bigger. This one, we're gonna dip into the shade Silhouette. Very, very dark, cooler tone brown. And I'm kind of gonna swirl this, tap this and swirl it right on top of where I put that liner and just slowly work it up in like a C shape. Feather that in. A little tiny bit more. Okay, wiping that brush off, let's go over to the Alter Ego. Duplicate, this is coffee. Okay, and now I'm gonna take that tiny blending brush again, same shade, that shade Silhouette. We're gonna take just a tiny bit on that very tip and run it barely under this lower lash line. I'm just basically kind of meeting up with that outer corner kind of rounding out this shape right here wipe that off back over to the daylight palette the tiniest bit okay and now honestly i don't really need to add anything else on top of this but because why not try something else. One thing I love about the I Need a Nude palette, and this is something that I'll do often if I'm really wanting to like elevate my look a little bit and just add some extra dimension and sparkle. A few of these shades have this really beautiful micro shimmer in them that just tops on top of any other look, whether it's an all matte look or even just another shimmer. They go beautifully on top of anything. I'm particularly talking about this one that we use on the inner corner, this shade right here, which is even more sheer, this shade, the shade Sheen. And then this one, this one right here, Travertine. Let me just swatch these for you guys. So here we have Sheen. And then this one is a little bit more kind of silver toned, Travertine. You see how sheer those are? Let's take Travertine and just add a little layer of that on top of what we already have there just across the center of the lid. Again, this is probably not something you're going to notice a lot on camera, but in person, this really is, it adds a beautiful sparkle effect. And then the duplicate for that shade is Glory. Again, with my finger, just taking a tiny bit of this. Layering it right over 
the top. All right, and that's, that was pretty basic. I don't feel like I did much. I'm just taking a clean blending brush. Actually, let me add just a tiny bit more of this shade, the lightest peach shade. Pull back a little more of that pink. I feel like we covered most of it up with a, some darker shades. Wipe that off and then head over here, add a little bit more of fresh, very lightly above the crease. I'm barely grazing my brow bone. Don't want to mess up what I did underneath of it. There we go. Let me zoom you guys back out and share some final thoughts. All right, and here is the finished, completed look. Natasha Denone on this side, alter ego on this side. What do you guys think? Are you noticing a huge difference? How did you think they applied? Did you notice any differences as I was applying them? I noticed a couple. I typically do when I do these dupe videos, but the differences are very subtle. I, I mean, to the, to the average person, unless you're really trying to find differences or watching the application, I just do not think that you would think these eye looks were from two different palettes. It's pretty impressive what Alter Ego is able to do. And I'm especially excited about this one because this is my favorite palette. I absolutely love the I Need a New palette. It's so beautiful, and especially as I've moved in more of a, a less creative direction, which I know is to the dismay of a few of you guys out there, I've been much more natural with my makeup recently. I'm not abandoning eyeshadow, but I certainly don't experiment with color as much as I used to, and this just suits me and my color preferences so well, and I love the shimmers in here. And I think that Alter Ego did a great job, and I'm so happy to recommend a dupe that is not gonna set you back $69, because I know that that $69 price tag is a lot of money. Oh my goodness. So I'm very impressed with this one. I think they did a great job. I will continue to play with this. Obviously, I didn't use every single shade today, but I anticipate it's gonna be a pretty good duplicate or alternative. Let me know what you guys thought. Let me know maybe you've tried out the Alter Ego palette already. I've seen a couple people post videos about this one. Is it one that you're interested in? Maybe you were holding off on the I Need a New to see if Alter Ego would, would dupe it. I love that they do this. I know that not everybody feels that way. Some people have like issues with, is it really ethical for a brand to completely rip off a high-end eyeshadow round? I can see it both ways, but personally, I am very appreciative, especially for those of my viewers out there that are on a budget. I'm glad that you have an alternative that you can reach for because I know the $69 palette is out of reach for a lot of us, especially, in, especially these days. But that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you are doing well. Let me give you one last reminder. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do that before you leave, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.